Hi there! This video is here to help you with metric measures. Before we begin, let's remind ourselves of some of the key vocabulary such as length, mass, volume and capacity associated with metric measures. It's important to remember the key differences between length, mass, volume and capacity. Length is a measure of an object from end to end and can be measured in millimetres, centimetres, metres or kilometres. Mass is a measure of how much matter there is in an object and can be measured in grams, kilograms and tonnes. It is worth noting that mass and weight are not the same thing. The mass of an object always remains constant, but the weight of an object depends on the gravitational force acting upon it. The terms volume and capacity can sometimes get mixed up too, but there's an easy way to remember the difference. Volume simply refers to the amount of space that is taken up by a three-dimensional shape and is often measured in cubic millimetres, cubic centimetres or cubic metres. Capacity is the maximum amount that something can contain and is often measured in millilitres and litres. Here are some different units of measurement. Can you sort them into units that would be useful to record length, mass and capacity? Pause the screen here and have a think. Press play again when you're ready to see the solution. That's right, units of length include millimetres, centimetres, metres and kilometres. Units of mass include grams, kilograms and tonnes, and units of capacity include millilitres and litres. Now, let's consider which units of measurements would be most appropriate to use. For example, if I wanted to measure the length of a book, which unit of measurement would be most appropriate to use and why? Pause the screen and consider your answer. Press play again when you are ready to continue. When measuring the length of a book, sensible units of measurement to use would either be millimetres or centimetres. Other units, such as kilometres, are too great to represent such short distances in a practical way. Now let's look at estimating. Estimating can also be called approximating and means that you are making a sensible guess based on the information that is available to you. For example, what would be a sensible estimate for the mass of an orange? Pause here to have a think and press play when you're ready to carry on. All done? A sensible estimate for the mass of an orange would be 100 grams. Now it's your turn. Pause the screen here and have a go at this question. Just press play again when you are ready to continue. Can you match the definition to the correct measure? You have capacity, length, volume and mass to match to the correct definition. Either the measurement of something from end to end, the amount of space taken up by a 3D object, the amount of matter in a particle or object, and how much a solid, liquid or gas a container can hold. All finished? Well done, let's take a look at the answers. The capacity is how much of a solid, liquid or gas a container can hold. Length is the measurement of something from end to end. Volume is the amount of space taken up by a 3D object and mass is the amount of matter in a particle or object. For the next question, have a think about which would be the most appropriate unit of measurement. All finished? Well done, here are the answers. The most appropriate unit for the mass of a car would be a tonne. For the capacity of a water bottle, it would be millilitres. For the length of a rugby pitch, it would be metres. And for the length of a fingernail, it would be millimetres. Now I think you are ready for another challenge. Pause the video and have a go at this question. Just press play again when you are ready to continue. Which is the best estimate for each object? All finished? Perfect. Here are the answers. 
A good estimate for the height of a man would be 170 centimetres. For the length of a pencil, it would be 15 centimetres. The mass of a loaf of bread would be approximately 0.5 kilograms, which is the same as 500 grams. The capacity of a bathtub is approximately 180 litres. Well done if you got that correct. I hope this video has helped you to understand all about metric measures. If you still need more maths help, we have lots of these videos on the Twinkle website, so make sure to check them out. Thank you for watching.